One of the most important aspects of music production, in fact production of any audio, is metering. It comes into play at every step of the way from recording to mastering. Professional apps like Pro Tools and Logic Pro have good metering facilities, but unfortunately GarageBand has metering only one small step above no metering at all. If a track is recorded at too low a level, it has to be boosted later, resulting in any background noise getting boosted as well. Too high a level results in clipping, which is when there is an overload of signal strength and digital clipping is a terrible sound. Fortunately, there's a free plugin which gives GarageBand users very powerful metering capability and it's also a useful tool even in higher level doors. It's called MV Meter 2 from TB Pro Audio. I find it indispensable working in GarageBand and also use it when I work in Logic Pro. The description for this video has a link for downloading it. In this video, I go through some of the features of MV Meter 2 and how I use it when producing music and video voiceovers. For my needs, I only use a small subset of its capabilities, with some of the presets being relevant in broadcasting and some of the other functionality being useful for professional use. I would like to thank Colin Cross, who has a YouTube channel called The Band Guide, who introduced me to MV Meter 2 and its use, as well as providing a lot of very good information on music production in general and GarageBand in particular. I have links to his channel and his video on using MV Meter 2 in this video's description. This shows what the MV Meter 2 user interface consists of. Some of it is obvious. For the rest, please download and read the manual. It is only 5 pages, so it will not take you long. When working on music and video voiceovers, I use three of the MV Meter 2 presets. The VU standard preset comes into play when recording tracks. It helps in getting a good level on the recorded track. Since the reference level for this metering mode is minus 18 decibels, it's fine if the meter goes over 0 dB, as long as it's not too much. On the other hand, one should make sure the recorded tracks are not too quiet. It is also handy with some garage band instruments that are by default very quiet that will be processed. In this situation, I put the gain plugin after the instrument, followed by MV Meter 2 set to VU standard, and adjust the gain to get a good level. I put MV Meter 2 set to peak standard preset first in the master track. This lets me see the level of my static mix, that is the mix going into the master track. The level to aim for is around minus 6 decibels maximum but one or two decibels higher is not a problem. It is important to play the whole song when checking this as it can be hard to tell where the loudest parts are. I put MV Meter 2 set to the RMS standard preset last in the master track. This lets me see the level after any processing done on the master track. The maximum reading to aim for is minus 12 decibels, give or take one or two decibels. This results in good volume level without distortion when exporting the finished song or voiceover. Watch Colin's video linked in the description for the above explained in more depth. Many thanks to TB Pro Audio for making this plugin and making it free to download. The download link is in this video's description.